Do you hate flappy straps? Would you rather have them all locked down and out of the way? Well, here's an option. Yeah, flappy straps. It's a problem you didn't even know you had, right? Well, on my kayak, I got these long straps that flap around. And until Rick Sfarber, who came up with the solution, mentioned it, I didn't really realize how much it bugged me. But they get in the way of my steering. They get in the way when I'm reaching underneath the, the seat. On the other side where I've got my phone and other things, they get in the way over there. So yeah, I'd like to have a way to have these straps lay out flat and stay organized next to each other. Well, Rick came up with a PVC way to do it. I'm making a minor modification to his solution. And then I've got another option for you that uses Velcro. But it's not just taking a piece of Velcro and putting it around the strap because the problem with that is it doesn't lay flat. You get this U here in the middle and it's going to move in and out easily. So let's get into Rick's solution and then we'll get into the second solution. To start, you need to cut off a one inch chunk of one half inch PVC. Take the cut piece of PVC, put it in a vise and heat it around all sides, slowly compressing it with the handle of the vise. When it gets about halfway done, now is when you have to put a strap in there that's the same size as your kayak strap to make sure you do not squish it too much. Here, I just used a strap that was pretty close. I stuffed it through and then used it for the remainder of the process. You can see I've got it through and I continue to heat it and I'm going to squish it tight up against that strap. The next step is to cut a slot so you can insert your kayak strap into the holder. Now Rick cut it on the end. I'm cutting it on the side because I want the end to act as a hook to make sure that the strap stays in the contraption. Now I've got an arrangement that looks like this and the strap should fit inside and be held together. And here's the finished product. You just slide your straps in through the hole. You may have to do some adjustment and reheat this to get it to fit the size of your straps, but it'll eventually work out. And you can paint this a cool color if you want it to be different than white. So solution number two that's easier to do than the PVC does rely on Velcro. And all I did was take something that was stiff, like I've got a, the end of a plastic shim right here, I glued that to a piece of Velcro. And what this is going to do is it's going to give a hard surface for the two straps to lay up against and allow me to really honk down on this to tighten it up and eliminate that U. So you're just going to take this and put the flat piece up against your straps and then you're going to wrap the PVC around it tightly. And there you go. That's locked in there pretty good. And that strap isn't going to move very easily. And I can move it down to the end and keep it organized. And I can put as many of these out there as I want to flatten the upper part of the strap as well. There you go. A solution to a problem you didn't even know existed. But I really appreciate Rick for sharing that with me because I like having things organized. I mean, that's my heritage in the Army. Everything had a load plan. Everything had a place to go. And if you kept organized, you knew where all your stuff was. Comments? Are there weird ideas that we can make videos of that solve problems that you may not know you have? <laughs> Put them in the comments below. Thanks.